with somebody if he gave you everything you wanted? I share. You share your man with somebody if he gave you everything you wanted. I share these men for less because they're going to go cheat anyway. They're going to go cheat anyway. So if I know for sure that he's going to give me everything I wanted, I will voluntarily share. Because we involuntarily share these men all the time. They cheat. My man probably cheating as we speak. I don't give a damn. I'm working. Literally. Literally. Like, what I'm going to do? Stop it? Yeah, we, we don't stop it. I've been cheated on. You've been cheated on. You've been cheated on. The person who's watching this, the person who's commenting about to get cheated on. If you've been cheated on, comment. Pastor says Christians I do. can be but polygynous. It's, polygamy. it's called polygyny. The world does polygamy. Um, a lot of people, they, um, they, I don't, I don't, I, the Bible doesn't speak about a man and a woman and a man or a man and man or woman and woman. Uh, it does speak clearly that Abraham, the father of the faith, uh, he had wives and concubines. Um, Jacob had four wives out of which come the 12 tribes of Israel. Moses, the custodian of the law, had three wives. Uh, David, the king of Israel, had 18 between wives and concubines. Because we all know about Solomon. Um, and, but it's, it's not, it's, it actually has laws written in the Torah, written in the law of Yah, that actually, um, regulates and sanctions a man having more than one wife if he chooses. You say in your book, there is no history of the black man settling down with one woman right. and never desiring to have another before right. slavery, during slavery, or after slavery. That's the black the man truth. has never been recorded to have just one woman. Right. Well, I think there's some actual facts we can look at on that. Monogamy has failed for the white man in America. But this is like saying it's okay. It's not me saying it's okay. This is how they're living. I'm giving you the history of what their life is. Black men haven't been waiting on me to tell them it's all right to have more than one woman. Neither have white men. <laughs> you know, this is just what they do. Uh, I'm not talking about fornication and adultery. I'm not talking about one night stands and running around rampant with other women. That's not the kinds of when I say more than one woman relationship. Mm -hmm. I mean that before we came to America, our men had more than one wife and family. And we were satisfied with it because we had not met the monogamy idea. We had not met the American white woman who, you know, insists on certain kinds of values in her man. Uh, we had not uh, learned envy and jealousy. Mm. All right. After coming here, those kinds of ideas were bred into us because of society and uh, the mores that the Americans made up here. And so then we started to have problems with that. But uh, I think that since it is apparent that most of them, not all of them, it's certainly up to the man, do love more than one woman. Many, I got tons of mail. A lot of black men write and tell me that they have had two women for 5, 10, 15, and 20 years, and they can't even get the women to speak to each other. Sometimes they have two families, would I want two to, sets of children. But Sharers, would I want to talk to a woman who's sharing perhaps the bed and, and the, the money and the social life with, with who I would deem as my man? If you want to deal in reality and if you are not insecure and if you don't think that that robs you of something, you would want to know them. If he loves her, you certainly should want to know her. There are a lot of black women out there who say, Oh, I know they're mad about that idea. I understand, <laughs> that, you know. That and would that's never not hold easy. water. Wait a minute, that's not easy. And that's a frightening thought to most of it, most of us. And I don't like that. I'm not for that. I'm in agreement with everybody else. Our men ought to just have one woman. But that is not the reality. I'm trying to get us to deal with some reality for a change. Stop dealing with fantasy. Stop dealing with television. Stop dealing with imagination of how we wish things were. Let's deal with them how they are, what it is, present tense. And but if because we deal that's with that, happening then, doesn't mean I have to like that or no, want that to accept that. No, that means that you can live in hell. That means you can live in, in doubt. That means that you can always be checking on your man. That means that you can be insecure and uh, be, you know, tearful. And that means you can be disappointed when you find out the real truth. And you don't want to have that in your life. None of us do. But in order not to have that, then we have to deal with some reality and recognize that men are not limited in the way that women are. Men are able to love more than one woman. I'm not talking about, as I said, just a round, random sexual relationship of fornication and adultery and all of that. I mean that there are many black men who have children by more than one woman. What is to become of those children? They need their father. But if you would cheat on me or walk out well, on me. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. We have to get into definition. Who told us that was cheating? Where did that idea come from that that's cheating? And I'm not saying that a lot of men are, are not just running around. I'm not talking about that. 
-hmm. But if a woman finds out that her man has been with a woman while she's been with him for three or four or five years, that's a serious commitment and relationship. And if it hasn't taken anything from me, if I'm not going short of anything, and if this is what he thinks his responsibility is, then what kind of hell are you going to go through to prevent that? Since we cannot stop him, we have not been successful. The white woman has not been successful in stopping the white man from having another woman. They call them a mistress. We pick up a lot of that terminology. But a man who has two women, that's not necessarily a mistress. That's just his other woman. Now, we got two choices. We can be the woman or the other woman. You not, we don't have it, those two. Now, I know we don't like that. I don't like that. You know, but that's the reality of our life at some point. Now, it's up to the man. But Every about, man doesn't want to women, about, but those that do, they're going to do it. What about our morals and our religion? Whose religion? Whose morals? Not our religion, because we're not practicing the religion of black people anymore. That was taken from us. We don't have our morals anymore. That was taken from us. So whose idea are you representing when you stand up for those values? Not ours. Somebody else's. Some other nationality. And it may work for them. But it doesn't work for us. It hasn't worked for anybody, really. But nobody wants to deal with the truth. Monogamy was only created because of the economics of it. The black man's handling of more than one woman is in a bad state of condition. The tenderest part of a black woman's life is the part that involves her relationship with her man. Even though she is not doing what he wants her to do, the fact that she is with him and claims to love him makes her territorial. She may go literally berserk if her man wanders for a one night stand or develops a full blown relationship with other women. The black woman does not understand her role in life with the black man. She can be the woman or the other woman to a black man. Both positions have their own idiosyncrasies of pro and con. It depends upon the black woman's perspective as to which position she will occupy, as she just stated in the video. She does not know that whichever position she takes does not eliminate the other position from the black man's life. She cannot bear even the thought of this. While she does not obey the rules governing her duties as a wife, she expects her man to obey all of the rules of the marriage vows or of the monogamous commitment. She refuses to accept the truth about what apparently is the nature, is his nature. There is no history of the black man settling down with one woman and never desiring to have another one. Before slavery, during slavery, or after slavery, the black man has never been recorded to have just one woman. The black woman does not know that just because her man does not have another woman doesn't mean that he does not want one. He just has not found out how to do it and how to keep the peace. He knows for an actual fact that if his woman finds out or even suspects that he is interested in adding another woman to his life, she will not give him another moment of peace until he has convinced her beyond all doubt that he's either changed his mind or wasn't serious about it in the first place. She will keep him up all night if need be until he gets it straight. Since the black woman has reduced her own worth to her genitals, she also equates the black man's values to his. She has an idea that sexual intercourse has some kind of divine worth to the black man as it has to her and that he should only reserve it for one woman herself. The black woman seemingly is under no such interpretation and is amazed that she reacts so violently to him having another woman. He knows she is jealous. She becomes furious beyond belief and may have to be restrained physically from harming him or herself. Her first charge is that you lied to me, which is followed by why, don't you why didn't you tell me as if his telling her would have made any difference in her reaction. Number one, he knows any difference in her reaction. Excuse me. Number one, he knows he has to lie because he knows she can't handle the handle much truth about his reality of his life, much less the fact that he desires another woman, but still wants her. She calls it two timing. She would demand all sorts of explanations, none of which appeases her distraught emotional state. Sometimes she demands the black man to tell her every sordid detail of the relationship, describe the woman, how he met her, whose idea it was, where it happened, how many times it happened, did he use protection, and she will compare dates to see as to see if he had her on the same day or night as her. Usually the man will give her a portion of the answers to the questions. Welcome back. Welcome back. 
Welcome back. Happy Monday. Welcome back to On the Shoulders of Giants. I am Joseph Ward, continuing my reading of Sister Shaharazar Ali's book, The Black Man's Guide to Understanding the Black Woman. And this is chapter 16, The Other Women. And we're almost done with this book, and it's almost time to choose another. But in this chapter, she's talking about the history of the black man, but also the history of man having more than one woman. And there was a piece in the clip, if you were, if you heard it when she said, every man hasn't had more than one woman and every man doesn't want more than one woman. But there are a number of men who are highly desired by either one woman or more women. Right? So that man may, may not take advantage of his options and have more than one woman. Historically, we know men of means, men of prominence, men of celebrity, men of stature, high value men, high regarded men, whatever you want to call them. They have had access and have taken advantage of, for the, for the most part, being with more than one woman. Kings, uh, you name it, more than one woman. Look at the celebrities, look at the athletes, look at people throughout history, look at biblical figures, look at all. Men of means have had access and have indulged in more than one woman. So now one of the things that Shaharazad Ali is getting at in this chapter is, because remember she started off to say that the state of the black man dealing with more than one woman is in bad shape, right? And that's because of the way the man is going about, she's explaining the way the man is going about doing his best to court or juggle more than one woman. The black man, a lot of black men are doing, trying to do it in a sneaky way. They, try, they, they do it behind the women back instead of being straight up about it. Instead of being straight up from the beginning saying, hey, I mess with more than one woman. I've always messed with more than one woman and I'm probably gonna keep on messing with more than one woman. Is that something that you are okay with? I'm telling you up front that there will be other women in the picture. Now, they can work out the details of how that may be played out, but the, op the, the object and the idea is to be upfront from the beginning, not to be sneaking around. But like the young lady said in the first clip, hey, she figures in her mind, from her reality, from her experience, that the men going to cheat anyway, so might as well get you a man who's going to do right while cheating. And of course, that is a number of men that she is talking about. That is a reality. But two things are true at one time. Yes, there are men who have more than one woman, have always had more than one woman, and will always have more than one woman. And there are men who won't. Right? So hopefully the women are finding men who are upfront about it. But also on the other end, what Shaharazad Ali is talking about is the the programming that we have in the West, the Western programming that especially the women have, it is anti-polygyny. It is anti having more than one woman. It is anti sharing your man, right? It is more about the monogamous relationships, two people being together and making it happen and doing y'all thing, just y'all two forever and ever and ever. That is the regular programming that we receive in the West about relationships. One man, one woman, y'all get together and y'all do y'all thing until y'all can't do y'all thing no more. Right? So we're all programmed like that. But us as men, we also receive alternate programming too. We also, some of us receive programming like, hey, we know monogamy is the thing, but this is how the players do it. And depending on who taught you, they might have taught you to be sneaky. They might have taught you how to be upfront, or you may have adopted some of these behaviors where you're sneaky or upfront. It doesn't matter. Well, it does matter. Excuse me, it does matter because that's how you approach your situation with the women that you're going to be dealing with. But Shaharazad is all. Shaharazad Ali mentioned the conditioning that we receive because black women are not down for the most part are not down with sharing their men. The 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 things that the young lady was saying in that first clip, that is rare. Most women are not cool or will accept sharing a man, sharing their man, right? And so with that understanding, that's the main thing. That's one of the main things that Shaharazad Ali is trying to get men to understand in this chapter is 
if you have the ideas and you want, you are a man who wants to have more than one woman, well, these are some of the things that you are, some of the obstacles and some of the things that you might be up against. And hopefully you're upfront about what you want from the beginning. So you give the woman a choice to whether she want to deal with you or not. But if you're being sneaky about it, then you want us messing the game up. So let's get back into it. Page 156, the first paragraph. So if he tells her the whole truth, he knows that she possibly would never recover. She wants him to explain it in such a way that that proves that he was seduced by this horrible other tramp of a woman or that it only happened one time or that she belongs to another man anyway. And it would never happen again. She wants to believe that the sexual encounter was brief, uninvolved, superficial and consisted of only straight sex. That was never and that was over in a few minutes. The intensity of her reaction is based on the magnitude of the value of places of sex of the value she places on sex. Excuse me. Let me read that again. The intensity of her reaction is based on the magnitude of the value she places on sex. If she and her man have extremely good sex, she quakes at the idea that he has done those same things to and with another woman. She is subject to wreck her entire world, no matter how long the relationship has existed, based on what a man does with his sex organ. A quagmire of examples of some of her reactions are as follows. Now, there are 14 of these reactions. I'm not going to read all 14, but I am going to read some so you can get an idea of she's explaining some of the reactions that the black woman would have if she finds out her man is messed with another one. So one is she will withhold the peace. This means she may catch an attitude and stop talking to him, or she may just be evil and glare. She may walk in a hostile gate or be and, and be extra fussy and complain about everything. Nag, nag, nag. She may cry and seek sympathy. During this period, the black woman will remind the black man of everything she has ever done for him. She will try to make him feel guilty and ashamed of his decidedly outrageous behavior. She will tell her friends the whole horrid story and they will express their sympathy about her unfortunate misfortune and agree that her man is wrong, a lifelong dog, and she should leave him. Three, uh, let the house go to hell. She may stop cleaning, ironing, washing, and cooking and may neglect the linen, his clothes, the dishes, or do anything else that resembles a work, a work stoppage. She goes on strike. Um, she could uh, retaliate by getting another man. He may be her man's best friend, worst enemy, his brother, his father, or next door neighbor. Any man who she thinks has a special value to her man is considered. This isn't what she really wants to do, but she is so out of control that she thinks this will vividly make her man understand a similar hurt. She wants at, at that time to cause the most lingering pain imaginable in this life. She thinks she has to do something, anything. Burn his clothes, wreck his car, trash his office, make a scene. This means all of the above and more. When inspired by jealousy, the black woman goes into a blind rage and will destroy lives and property, including her own. She is determined to vent her anger and she wants witnesses. She must be restrained. And the last one is attack and beat up the other woman. She will investigate and seek out the other woman and attack her or call her house and make threats and hang up on her at all hours of the day or night. She will tell everyone connected to her what a low down man still in or she is. She will call the other woman all kinds of vile names and make up any lies she can to make her appear to be a totally innocent person. And once again, this is Shaharazad Ali explaining a plethora of reactions that the black woman will have in finding out that her man is dealing with another woman, having sex with another woman, may have a relationship or involved in any type of way with another woman that she disapproves. These are some of the reactions that could, that she could have and the way she could lash out at the black man and herself. So 